Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. Today is September 26th. I really can't believe it's already the last Tuesday in September. This month has flown by. Um, I hope you had a great weekend, and I'm excited. I really am excited to share this card with you. We are making... Um, a bay window fun fold and I'm going to show you a really easy way to do it and this is really one where your designer series paper just takes over and does the work for you and once you get the pieces cut it's together in no time so if you're um, new to my channel welcome I'm so happy you found me and if you're returning like Louise and Mary and so many of you whether you're with me live or catching me on the replay thanks so much. I really appreciate your support and love sharing all this with you. So I have a lot to show you. So I'm going to flip this camera down and we're going to get started. Okay. Um, normally I don't show you the card ahead of time, but I'm going to do that today. And I'm hoping you're going to stay with me because I have lots of tips and tricks for you. Um, to make this card. Now this is laying down flat, but it is a card that's meant to stand up on either like a table or a mantle. It, it's really very pretty. And I have a tip that I'm going to show you as we make this card of how this card can keep its shape standing up. So let's bring this in. We are going to be using two of the sentiments from the Magical Metal Bundle. And we're also going to be using um, this image. And we're going to be coloring it. And um, I am using the dies. And with this um, comes several dies. You've seen me use this stamp set before. Um, there are um, dies that cut the stamped images. And then there are dies that give you detail and you just cut from um, your cardstock. So let's set those off to the side. I'm using the Winter Meadow Designer Series paper. Now, this has several sheets to it. Let me turn it so you can see it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, one thing I like about this paper is that it's not traditional Christmas colors. And it's paper that can be used all winter long. You can use it for birthdays. And um, I even was looking at it to make a sympathy card. So just um, gorgeous paper. And we are using this piece today. Um, lots of time people have trouble wondering what I do with a piece that has white space in it. Um, I'm going to show you one way you can use this today. So let's get started, and we're going to do this from top to bottom. We're going to do the whole thing. So I did cut the cardstock, and we're using a piece that's four and a quarter by 11. So it's a half a piece of um, eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Now I'm going to bring in my. Um, yeah, I am thinking of the word. I'm going to bring in my trimmer and we are going to go ahead and flip this around so you can see what I'm doing. Now there's a lot of scoring to this and the one thing I want to tell you is I did, there is a downloadable PDF that you can print that has your measurements, instructions, and all the supplies you need to make this card. It's over on my website, Simply Cards by Kathy. So let's go ahead and we are going to score this and um, just hang in there with me. We are going to score this at three ace. So I'm gonna go this way. So we're gonna score at three ace. There's lots of scoring. Now, if you do have a scoreboard, feel free to use that. So three ace. Next is one and seven ace. I know you guys hate these ace, but can't help it on this one. So one and seven ace. Three and five ace. Five and an eighth. And then five and a half. Okay, we 
over there. Okay, we can move this out of the way for now. All right, now your card base, you're going to fold on the score lines and you're going to fold in the same direction for every one but this last one. So here's the back of your card. So let's go ahead and fold. And you do want to burnish these well with your bone folder. That's what's going to help hold its shape. And we're going to fold on this one. Let's do this one. This one. And then this last one, you're going to fold back. Okay. And you're going to see why as we finish up the card. Okay. So here's the front of our card base and here's the inside. Now, when you make this card, you can add designer, you're going to add designer series paper. However, you can also carry that paper through to the inside, which is what I did. How, and if you don't want to, you can leave it blank. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to carry it through to the inside. Now, um, we're going to take our piece of designer series paper. Let's move this off to the side and bring this back in. All right. Now, as we bring this in, we need a piece of designer series paper that is four inches by 10 inches. So what I'm going to do is cut this right along the four inch mark. And now I'm going to cut for 10 inches. I'm going to take off this piece that has more white to it. All right. So here's our four by 10 inches. Now we need to cut this down to fit in those folded areas. So in order to do that, we are going to cut um, a one inch by four inch piece off. And I'm going to take it from this side. And I'm going to set this aside because we're going to use it later on. So save it. Okay, next what you want to do is you want to um, cut this in half. So now that it's four and a half by four. So we're going to go ahead because you can see by cutting an inch off it's four by nine. So let's cut this in half. And you'd have two four and a half inch pieces. Now, important to remember to keep these in the order you cut them. So we are going to place this one behind here. And we're going to cut them together. So we're going to cut off um, one quarter inch. So I'm going to flip mine around, okay? So we're going to go to a quarter inch. Okay. There's our quarter. Now I want to keep these in order. So we're going to set them off to the side here. Next, I'm going to cut one and a quarter. We're going to set these over. Now we're going to cut one and a half. And you do want to keep them together. So if they start to move, I'm just going to pick them up and put them back. And we're going to do one and a half. And now one and a quarter. 
and that will leave us with another one quarter inch piece. Okay, whoops. This is one of those days I wish that I had some glue on my hands. Okay, let's cut that off. Okay, so this is here. All right, let's get rid of this now. So now we're ready to assemble our card. So um, we are going to start to adhere these pieces. And remember, I put these in order. So I'm going to be using the top first. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to apply it to my designer series paper here. And we're just going to go right through and adhere these on. Now, when you've cut these, remember they're a half inch smaller. So you're going to leave a little bit of an edge all the way around. Okay, so let's go on with our next one. You can see that the pattern, if you were to put these back together, the pattern connects. And um, if you're using a piece of designer series paper, like I did, where you kind of have an ongoing seam, that's going to matter. If you're just using designer series paper that really has no um, pattern, like an, a scenic pattern, you still want to be careful in doing that because remember, you do have cuts. You can see this is going to piece right back together. So let's get that on there. Now, if you have any questions about making the, this card or any card that I show you, please reach out to me. Um, I'm always willing to help and answer your questions um, because I want you to be able to cre recreate this um, easily and enjoy doing it. Okay, let's put this one down. And remember, we had these little half-inch pieces here, or a quarter-inch, I'm sorry, half-inch. Okay, now if you want to quit at this, you can. And you can use a smaller piece of designer series paper. But I always think it looks nicer if I go ahead and um, continue on so that I have um, a nice finished inside. Now that's going to go there. So, and it doesn't really matter that it flows from the front to the back. What's going to matter is that it flows from across the back if you choose to put the paper on. So now I'm on my second layer of paper. And we're going to go right on. And if I wasn't talking so much, this would go faster. Okay, let's add this one. I'm not getting glue on my edges here. There we go. And this last one. is going to be right here. OK, now, this small area where you have the two folds, you're going to add some glue in here. And just between the two score lines, and you're going to close that up and press it down. 
it's almost like you're making um, a book card, but it isn't a book card. So now you have this that's adhered together. So here's the inside of your card. Okay, next I want to go ahead and add this portion of my card. Now this needs to be um, this needs to be four by five and a quarter, and it looks a little bit bigger than that. So let's just make sure I cut it correctly. I'm going to take it down just a little bit. And that's going to be good. So let's stamp our greeting. And for the inside I'm greeting, I'm using the colder weather brings us together. And I am going to stamp this um, using um, Misty Meadow. Or Misty Moonlight. I am using Misty Meadow. But we're going to use Misty Moonlight. So I'm going to stamp this a little bit over here. And now we're going to adhere this to the inside of our card. So it does come together quickly when you're just going ahead and making the card and um, not chit-chatting as much as I am. So let's go ahead and we're going to add this. Now I want to make sure this is adhering, and it is. Okay. Now we're going to make a lip for this. So I have a piece of one by uh, four matching cardstock. And remember that one inch piece that we cut off? We're going to adhere this um, right to that. But I am going to um, trim this to about seven eighths of an inch and I'm going to trim it from this side. I just want a little bit of border around that. So let's do that. Now I do have glue on my hands and they're sticking to the paper. All right. There we go. All right. So we're going to adhere these together and then I'm going to show you a little trick on how to make a lip that this card will stand up. And I did not cut that short enough. All right, let's put that on here. All right. When you remember to trim it one way, you have to remember to trim it the other. So let's do that, because I didn't. And now we're ready to adhere it. Always something, hmm? All right. Now for our little lip, you want to be able to um, use either Stampin' Dimensionals or your foam strips. I'm going to use foam strips. But if you're using Stampin' Dimensionals, what really works well is to cut this edge and use that. Now, you want this to be able to tuck in right here. And that's what's going to hold the shape of your card. So to do that, you need to leave the, the side towards the middle of the card, the inside portion, free from any adhesive. So let's go ahead and we're going to use um, our foam here. And I want to make sure I get it on the right side. And I'm simply going to run two rows, one right along the edge and then one right next to it. 
And this is the easiest way I have found to do it. And I'm just going to trim this off. And we're going to pull this back. And now I have my edge that I can adhere right to the edge of the card. Okay, now look at this when you tuck it in. It holds your card steady so that it maintains the shape that um, you want, want it to keep or the shape, you want it to maintain the shape when it's standing up. Now let's finish this card up quickly. You have a two and a half inch square and a two and a quarter inch basic white. So I'm gonna stamp my greeting on the basic white using the Misty Moonlight. And it says Winter Wishes. And I'm gonna stamp it over just to here, to the side. Yeah, it's crooked. Let's flip it over and restamp that. No one is ever going to see it because um, it's going to be adhered to the misty moonlight. So let's go ahead and glue this down. And now I want to just add, I've cut a sprig of greenery that I thought would be pretty to add in here, but I'm going to trim it off. So let's do that. And I'm just going to adhere this with some um, glue. And I'm actually going to trim this one off too, and you'll see why. And let's adhere that down. And then we have just one more image to stamp. And I'm just going to add a little dot with my um, needlepoint glue. This, these bottles I do buy on Amazon, and then I just fill them with my multi-purpose glue. And they work really well that way. So let's add this here. And... Okay, so there's that, and we're going to stamp one more image. And we're going to use, I want to pick up some of the moody mauve that's in the paper. And I also want some of the shaded spruce. So to do that, I'm going to use my Stampin' Write markers. And I'm going to use the brush point, and I'm going to color these in. And I'm using, when you do this, you want to use the side of your brush because if you use the, um, the very tip, you're going to uh, destroy the tip and it's, your marker isn't going to color well. So again, just adding from the side. And now I'm going to come in with my Moody Mauve and color the berries. Now this is kind of a distinctive stamp, so you're going to see you have light and dark areas in the um, images. Okay, so well, let's stamp this down. And I just hold it there for a minute. And there's our image. So let's die cut this out. And we're going to use the die from the stamp set. And I'm just going to pop on over to my um, cut and emboss machine here and cut this little, um, the berries out and we'll be ready to finish up our card. Now I do use tape to hold mine in place just to make sure that um, they don't shift on me. Like 
If you like today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It helps me grow my channel. And if you're new, um, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button and be notified when I go live or post a new video. Now for the berries, I would like those to pop up. So I'm just going to take a couple mini Stampin' Dimensionals and pop those on here. I think one more will do it. And we're going to place this right over our little sprig of greenery. Let's go down. Okay. Now I want to adhere this to the front of my card. So you want to get glue only on this center panel. So to do that, I turn mine over and eyeball it so it's in the center. And then I apply my glue just within that area. Then I flip it over and just give it a good press. Now let's finish up with just a few embellishments. And today I'm using the adhesive back speckled dots because they do have moody mauve in them and I really think it helps pop that little bit of moody mauve that we have in this um, paper. So we're going to bring in, and let's put one here. I'm going to bring in one large one and put it down here. And let's bring in a third. Okay. Now, if you want to add just a little bit of glitz to your berries, I have my Winka Stella. And I'm just going to color over it lightly. And I think it'll be hard for you to see, but in person, when you look at it, they just kind of stand out and you see just that little bit of glitz. So here's a card. There we go. Now let me bring it back to me. So I hope you enjoyed today's Bay Window Fun Fold. And let me show you what it's supposed to look like when you stand it up. And I'm going to try to pick this up for you to see. So it sits very nicely, holds its shape on a table or a mantle for someone to be able to enjoy. So... Um, I hope you have a great week. I hope you enjoyed today's card. Today's card is actually part of a blog hop. I belong to a group of Stampin' Up! demonstrators that do um, fun fold blog hop on the fourth Tuesday of every month. So today is our day to do the hop, and it's actually my first time joining them. So if you get a chance, go over to my website, take a look at this, download your PDF, and hop on over to those other demonstrators and see some inspiration. They're very talented. Have a great day, and I'll see you on Friday at 11 a.m. Bye, everybody.